Okay guys, Cody here with a video on hermit crab bathing. I accidentally deleted my other video on hermit crab bathing, so this is going to be a video on that. So what you're going to need is a bucket to bathe your hermit crabs in, lukewarm water with some hermit crab salt or instant ocean or whatever, or salt water that comes in a bottle, and of course, Next, you're going to need your hermit crabs. So we're gonna go out here and I'm gonna get my hermit crabs. And that's my washer and dryer making a loud noise. And that's my pop. <laughs> so, we've got our water. And this is my 20 gallon hermit crab tank. Planning to get a moss pit soon, but whatever. So I'm gonna position you guys right here real quick while I get all my crabs. Like there's two here. Oh, my biggest crab is right here. Okay, well hold on, big crab. Hold on, big popper there. Whatever. Alright. So I got two of my crabs right now. And they were in a piece of choy wood, so I had to take the choy wood out as well. Um here's He actually just changed shells not too long ago, so him in there. And um, I don't know if I can find any of my other hermit crabs. A lot of them burrow. Is there anybody in here? There's a big hill in there in this cave that I just looked it up, so I don't want to disturb that. It may be a molting crab. And I wish my little my smallest one was out so I can show you guys but oh I just found another crab hold on I have seven of them I think I told you guys that in a lot of my videos I just found my second biggest crab and so we have a couple crabs that I'm bathing right now so I couldn't find um, three of them I think three let me count I have one two um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't find four of them, but just for now, we're gonna bathe these ones, these crabbies, crabby, crabby, crabbies, and I'm going to show you a tour of their tank or their um hermit crab play pen. This is what I use for them to dry out after their bath now, and sometimes just when I want to take them out, put them in here and play with them. So this is the bendable stick. Go, go, hut there. Go, go, hut there. Big decorative shell over here. Water, food dish, sponge, and towel on the bottom. And that's basically it. Nothing too special there. Oh, yeah, I showed you the sponge. And I have to actually put more water in the sponge. So I will show you guys how to put water in your sponge. So I have sponges in my crab tank. And I just soak them in um, tap water. Now, a lot of people say tap water is bad for crabs. I have not had a single crab die due to tap water. I have not had a single crab die with tap water. That's what I do all my other sponges with as well, tap water, in my aquarium or whatever. And none of my crabs have died. So, this is my second smallest crab little guy. He used to be so little. This is one of the two twins, my second biggest. Um, if you, that, this is my, sorry about the lighting, that's my biggest crab. He looks exactly like that crab, so they're called the twins. And sorry about my finger, that was in the lens. And then, in here we have Mr. Spongebob, which his new name is Shelby. So, yeah. I like to mess with the little guy. He's fun. He's really fun to play with. He was just out looking for a shell last night, but he didn't change. And he stopped looking, so I'm guessing he's not looking for a shell anymore. But anyway, 
I think they've had a nice bathing. So what I'm going to do is take them out. And this is their first time being in the Hermit Crab Play Pen. So I'm going to put them in my Hermit Crab Play Pen. And the reason I wetted that sponge is for moisture in there. Since they're out of their regular tank that has all the moisture, I just decided to put the sponge in. This is my biggest crab. The twins don't have names because, you know, they're just, they look the same. So I just call them the twins. And it looks like they'll all race into the cocoa hut. Maybe one will climb, but they like the cocoa hut. Ooh. So, yeah. And then SpongeBob doesn't want to get off the Troy Wood, so I'm just going to put the Troy Wood in there too. And once he gets off, I'll take it away. Their shells didn't really get clean, and this twin's not going to fit in this cocoa hut, so I'm going to show him the option of the other. Okay, never mind. He wants to go in there, so I'll just let him go in. And SpongeBob's on the Troy Wood. Still, he's. SpongeBob really is addicted to them things, and it looks like he's off now, so I'm going to take the Troy Wood away, put it in their bath. And the Hermit Crab Salts by HBH. This takes all the chemicals and stuff out of tap water. And so, yeah. You're gonna let your, wanna let your Hermit Crab sit in the playpen or wherever you have a nice place for them to dry off for at least two minutes. It should be dry in at least two minutes. And then you're gonna wanna take them out and put them back in their other cage. So starting now, I'm going to count to two minutes. And we're going to watch him cry. So that was about two minutes. I counted all the way to 100, which should have equaled two minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the play pen and we are going to put the crabs back in their crab attack. But I'm not going to show you that part because I don't know. But yeah, that's basically my hermit crab play pen and how to bathe a hermit crab. Real quick view of my hermit crab tank. I will be giving you a very descriptive, very, very descriptive thing of this. Showing you how much everything is and stuff. So yeah, that's basically it. And bye.